Hey everyone, today I'm going to be addressing the issue of the bumper not registering when you press it on the Xbox Scuff Instinct Pro. This is what my controller looks like, and the specific problem that I was having is my right bumper would not register that I was even touching it unless I pressed really hard. So I'm going to show you how to fix that today without even having to take your controller apart. This D-pad is magnetized and so is this full top layer, but you do not need to unscrew anything. Uh, no tools are really required. Scissors and tweezers are nice, but I'm gonna uh, this is my right bumper, so I'm gonna show you the left side here because it's not altered at all. You can see this uh, like white piece. Let me show you here. Like right there. Whenever I press the left bumper, you can see that it gets pushed down. My left bumper was working just fine. So that's what it looks like unaltered at all. On the right side, uh, my bumper still sounds normal, but it wasn't registering that I was even pressing it. So I'm gonna show you how I fix that very easily. Uh, so I took, basically all you need to do is you want to put something between that white piece and where your bumper is pushing. Like I showed you on the left side here. You can see how it kind of moves. So all I did was I took from a six pack bottle of like soda, I took the handle, just the plastic handle and I cut it off and I cut a very small rectangular piece out of it, small enough to fit inside there. And that was enough to make it start working again. But first I tried, this is just like from a shoe pad. I cut off a little uh, same size rectangle on there. If you can see the small little section I cut out, it doesn't take much, but that wasn't enough. Uh, this, this piece of plastic was, but I just put them both in to make it a little bit thicker. You don't want it too thick, otherwise it might think the button's always on. But I'm gonna show you here. All you need to do, I just used a pair of tweezers. Uh, you don't even need that if you can get it in there, but it just made it a lot easier. So I'm gonna show you here. This is where the piece of plastic sits. And you just, it, it just slides in there and it can't slide around because, let's see if we can focus. Because on either side, it's kind of stopped by the plastic and See it moving there. It works perfectly now. That's all you have to do. You didn't have to unscrew anything. 